Hey everyone! In this video I want to show you how you can add random sparkles to any project using Keynote. Enjoy! First thing I want to do is change my background color. I don't have to, but I'm going to. And then I'm going to lock the center screen down my picture so that it doesn't move around as I move triangles around. And you'll see. Put in a triangle. And I'm going to check it first. So I'm going to animate it. Add an effect. I'm going to do shimmer. I really wanted more of that white sparkle, so I'm going to do a couple. Let's see how this one does. Because there we go. Believe it or not, all triangles are not the same. So I'm going to cut that one. This is the one I want to replicate. I'm going to copy it, paste it. gonna I'm lazy so <laughs> I copy all of those paste them paste them all right now they will all have the shimmer in them but I cannot change their opacity yet I would have had to do it when I did the first one the problem is then I can't see where I'm putting them and I did find that a problem so I'd rather see them and put the opacity back down to zero one at a time. It doesn't take that long. This way I can see what I'm doing. And I want to spread them out. So I'm going to kind of... I'm never going to put two right next to each other. Because in the order that I put them, the order that they came to be will be the order they sparkle in. And I want that to be spread out. Mm. All right, I think I have enough. Now I'm just going to check. Oops their build order to find out what they look like when they're sparkling. So they're nice and spread out and that's what I wanted. Except I want to do two at a time. So now that I know that they're they're spread out well, I'm gonna do the one below. I'm gonna attach it to the top one. So number two is gonna bling with build one. Number four is gonna build with bling three and so on. Let me do that real quick. Six is gonna go with five. Eight is gonna go with seven. Ten is going to go with nine. You get the idea. It's going to go with thirteen. It's going to go with fifteen. All right, now let's try that again. I know I can just hit select all, but. So now I have to change their format. So 
I'm going to draw all their opacities all the way down. And yes, this would be faster to do at one time, but seriously, I can never see them when I do it like that. And I have tried and timed it, and it is faster to do it this way. I know, crazy repetitious, but once you've done it, you're done. You don't have to do it again. All right. Let's see. Build order. Okay. So I have a general spread out. But as you can see, they're all very much alike. So I'm going to do another shape. And I'll see if this one sparkles the same. Hopefully it's a little bit different. Shimmer. And I'm gonna put it in a couple central locations. And I'm not going to lock these ones in to any other pieces. These guys will be loose down here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just randomly put them in the middle the one now they're not gonna go as the, at the same time as the other ones they're gonna go in between them even though I'm putting them with them they're random very nice. Alright. Change the opacity. Just makes them disappear. So you don't have to make them white or any other color first. Just leave them blue, it's fine. The only time the blue shows when they shimmer is when you actually have the blue showing. As soon as you go to clear, all you see is the sparkle. All right, let's see how that looks. Build order. That's a lot more spread out and not as uniform to have those random sparkles here and there. Okay, and then just export it as a movie. File, export to movie, do 1080 next and then just put it wherever you want and you're done. I hope that helped everybody. Thanks for watching.